Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Nazian Nas Carter, Jay-Z's nephew, a promising basketball player for the University of Washington, has been accused of assault by two women. Two allegations of sexual assault have been upheld after an investigation the university has claimed to have underwent involving the matter. Earlier this year, two different students reported Jay-Z's nephew to the University of Washington's Title IX office. The University of Washington spokesperson, Victor Balta, told the media that in each case, an administrative hearing officer determined that Carter violated the school's policy against sexual assault. Nas has chosen not to accept the university's punishment after being suspended from basketball, but has instead chose to leave Washington to pursue a professional basketball career. This is the young woman who has made the sexual assault allegations against Nas Carter. After much prayer, conversation with my family, and a UW Title IX investigation, I decided to let you all know that Nas Carter is a rapist on two separate accounts. As a victim myself and friend to another, it is important to me that you all know this. I posted on at Make Them Scared a list dedicated to holding rapists accountable on October 24th, 2019 with the hopes this wouldn't happen to another victim. Little did I know he'd already attacked others. In February of this year, myself and another victim reported him to Title IX. Pictures of Malik Beasley holding hands with socialite Larsa Pippen have surfaced and have left his wife stunned. Beasley, who's only four years older than Larsa's oldest son, just recently signed a $60 million contract. Montana Yayo, Beasley's wife, took to social media to express her shock at seeing her husband with Larsa. Larsa is being called a homewrecker on social media. It is rumored that Larsa cheated on her ex-husband Scotty Pippen with Future. Larsa Pippen has since stated that Malik Beasley was separated when they met. Malik and his ex were separated before I ever met him, Larsa tweeted. That's a fact. But Malik's wife says that that's untrue. This is 100% false. Continue to speak on my name and my relationship and we're going to have issues. Receipts don't lie. Let's not go there. I think you embarrassed yourself enough already, she responded. On Christmas Eve, Montana uploaded a video of herself rapping the incident. I'm not impressed by you. Boy, you sloppy mess, she rapped. Went and did me wrong and tried to send me a miss you text. That don't work on me. That ain't how it goes. You went and picked a side with a lame A thirsty H. I've always and forever will remain true to who I am and God has never let me down, Montana wrote on Instagram. The truth always comes out one way or another. Appreciate all the love, y'all for real. Then she stated, wow, I don't even know this man. This is wild, y'all. I'm seeing it for the first time just like y'all. Since then, Montana has claimed that Malik has kicked her out of the home. Bernard Shaft Raphael, Cardi B's former manager, claimed Cardi B breached her contract when she ditched their agreement under KRS imprint to sign with Quality Control instead. The lawsuit went on for three years and resulted in Cardi B paying him millions. Raphael hasn't received any money since Cardi B's royalties were frozen two years ago amid the lengthy court battle. So the settlement of the lawsuit on December 24th was a huge win for the New York native. This action, including all claims and counterclaims, is hereby dismissed in its entirety with with prejudice against all parties. The parties have further agreed that all parties in this action shall bear their own costs and attorney fees, court documents revealed. But this may not necessarily be a bad thing for Cardi. In fact, it may be the exact opposite because she's about to get a huge payday. Apparently, Atlantic Records owes Cardi B a substantial amount of royalties, but she was not able to collect the money until she settled with Raphael. This was reported by Cardi B in June 2020. Cardi responded on Twitter when a fan asked how she supposedly made $32 million in two years but had not yet received payment. Cardi responded saying, according to my lawyers, it can't be touched until my litigation is over. It just can't be touched till we solve the dispute. But when that fat A check hit my account all at once, it's gonna be lit. That's why I never trip because it's there. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. 
and I'll see you real soon in the next video. Bye.